I got huge response for this makeover and I know you all are eagerly waiting for this one. So today is the day I didn't want to delay it further as you all are eagerly waiting for this. And as I have already said in the community, this was my grandfather's room which used to be so neat, lively and we used to get that spiritual feeling when we entered this room. So and today's video is very interesting because as you all know no online purchases no expensive decor items i have used everything existing revamped it and made it a beautiful room again so as you all can see there are a lot of things in this room which are not at all supposed to be here and most of them are fully damaged items which are no more useful so we have discarded all of those items and few of them we have accommodated somewhere else where they are supposed to be and that makes sense right so let's get started with the makeover so relax and enjoy the video we all have started with the cleaning part so first as usual we are going to remove everything and clear this room completely and just like last time i have my cousins to help me in this without them it wouldn't be possible to complete this makeover in one or two days here we have the shelf which is really nice i see beauty in every old item you know but this shelf was mostly damaged and also if we keep this shelf there there will be no place for any other thing and this shelf is not supposed to be here so we have kept it outside so that we can restore it and place somewhere else and here in this corner uh, there are a lot of railway trunks which haven't been opened for many years like 15 to 20 years so we are going to restore them also and before moving the so most of the things have been moved and it's 70% clear now and this is how it is. It's the condition of this room right now. You can clearly see the walls, the floor, how badly they are damaged and here I am see what is there. And in between these trunks we found these uh, chappals. These are my grandfather's chappals. So we were very happy to see these kind of things in this room. And this blue t-shirt guy you might have seen in my previous videos in many videos whenever I am in my hometown he helps me in all the makeovers and this guy is also one of my aunt's son. And while I am cleaning, let me tell you one thing guys, You most of the people are watching my videos but you are not subscribing to my channel. So I just wanted to tell you that I am coming up with most realistic and affordable home decor, home makeover videos of this type. So I hope I won't disappoint you with my content. So please subscribe to my channel if you like any of my videos and my content. As you can see, there was a lot of trash and it's almost clean now. And coming back to these trunks, it's time to restore them. So let's do it one by one. So first we are going to paint this one. I got few uh, random colors for all these trunks. So first we used sandpaper on all the trunks to remove the rust and the dust. And these are my cousins, little cousins. So they also helped me paint the trunks. And first I am going to paint this stool because I am going to use it as a side table. For this I have selected royal blue color and its uh, price is 43 rupees guys. Last time when I mentioned many people said that how can you get uh, an enamel paint for 30 or 40 rupees. But it's actually uh, 43 rupees. You can check in any paint shop. So first thing is I painted that stool in royal blue color and I am painting the trunk uh, in the same color so that I can use both of them as a vintage style uh, side table, bedside table. So this is the trunk and I'll keep this trunk on this stool and I'm painting all these clamps with gold color. Just to add more beauty to this, I had this uh, a Moroccan style wallpaper which I am going to attach in the middle of this trunk and I hope this completed its look moving on to another trunk see how badly everything inside this trunk is damaged and this cannot be used anymore that's why we have discarded it and there is another trunk of such type this is good only but there were few old clothes which we have discarded and we are painting this with this grey color
and now comes the main part that is painting so this is the color i have chosen for this room because i wanted it to be very subtle and also have some ethnic traditional kind of look in this room And once again my mom helping me paint the windows with wood color but as these windows were very old we forgot to apply the primer then this wooden color vanished completely. So like this there were a lot of challenges here and there while we were doing this makeover. We didn't even have light in this room then we fixed one light and attached it on the window. And this is the stencil I bought. There were only few designs available. So from them, I chose this one because as I said, I wanted to give a kind of traditional look. And for the print, I have chosen this beetroot, I mean maroon color. All these are Asian paints which we use for walls, guys. So you all asked me about the paints, right? So that's why I'm telling. And here is the design. It's not that bad. It's good. So let's paint the whole wall. So this is the wall I wanted to have this design on. And with the leftover paint, I decided to paint it on the opposite wall of this room. So first I was thinking that dark colors might make the room look smaller and darker. But as we have painted it on the opposite wall, uh, light was reflecting on this wall. So it made it look even brighter. now let's move on to the diy's part so this time i have planned for a little different type of diy i'm not going to tell you what it is and where i'm going to use it just watch it here we have taken a couple of wooden beadings and we are cutting it into pieces of 50 inches and 30 inches These are very thin and light in weight, easy to cut as well. So first we are going to make this rectangular frame. So we are using small nails on this to attach it. So basically you have to make a window kind of frame. And this check shirt guy is my nephew, my sister's son. Help me so much in this video this time. So this is our frame. Let's see how it looks. So this is the fox window we have created. Let's move on to another DIY here. We have this old chair which used to be in that room. So I want to revamp it. So first I am painting this with white color enamel paint. Painted it and for the seat I am going to attach this wallpaper. This wallpaper is really my favorite one in this video. This helped me in many things in that same room. And this print of this wallpaper also perfectly matching with whatever I imagined for that room. So once after attaching it, let's carefully cut the edges. Let me know how do you like this chair in the comment section. We are done with almost all the DIYs, painting, everything and we are back to the room again. So here we have to cover these shelves. Again, my wallpaper comes into picture. So I am using this wallpaper as a shelf liner in these shelves and it made lot of difference. You can see it later. And as always to cover the flooring, I prefer floor mats because these will look so beautiful and also affordable. It costed me 300 rupees per meter and I got 3 meters for this room. Now let me make the bedside table. So this is my bedside table and here we are getting a cot in this room. this is the cot and we are not going to put any mattress on this as we don't have anything as such so we'll just put this cot and lay a beautiful bed sheet on it before that let me put my chair here in this corner and make a small seating and now it's time to mount our beautiful fox window frame on this wall this is where i wanted to have it because i wanted to create that window kind of look because the room itself is small i thought that it will add some dimension to this room so this is how it is looking and here we are putting nails on this wall to hang a curtain 
and with the leftover pieces of those wooden beadings we made two frames of this type with zero cost and zero effort and I painted with the uh, gold color and how can I leave my grandfather's belongings so these were so old and you can see the condition of these things I'll again restore them I'll clean it and I'll put it in my grandfather's room again To clean the watches and all I used WD spray to remove the rust and clean it and here I am just cleaning with normal water and a brush and I am removing all the dirt. If you have these kind of things which belongs to your grandparents just don't throw them away guys these are the things that we won't get it again so just keep them with care. Actually I didn't expect these things to be uh, there in that room but luckily we found all these items and we were very happy so i just restored it and i'm going to keep it in that room so coming to the organization part so you have seen there are many holy books in my grandfather's suitcases and trunks right so i have kept most of them which are in a good condition i want them to be in these shelves only and coming to the shelf organization and decoration i am not going to put anything like uh, flowers or anything just one plant because you know right plants bring life to any kind of space and couple of lanterns as i imagine that I not imagine but i wanted that authenticity of my grandfather's room to remain and here on this side table I have kept this clay water jug and a small lantern and in this wooden tray I am going to put all my grandfather's belongings. So there are a couple of watches, thusby and uh, small scissors, my grandfather's pets and a couple of scent bottles as my grandfather was very fond of it. And coming to this corner I am putting the trunks in its original place because this was the right place for these trunks and the cloth I used on these trunks is just a mop cloth that we use for mopping. I purchased 3 for 149 rupees and I found it very uh, nice and uh, aesthetic so I laid it on these trunks and for this particular trunk I didn't want to paint because there is my grandfather's name Sayyid Dastagir mentioned on it and his job grade everything so I don't want to touch that. Coming to the cot here I got a beautiful bed sheet which is luckily matching with the theme and everything else in this room. And these two frames which we made out of leftover wooden beadings I am going to attach them on the wall using this double sided tape. And you will see how it made the difference on this wall and we used nothing here no much effort and also no cost. I just wanted to tell you that these kind of simple things can make a lot of difference in your house. All you need to have is just some ideas. And here on this wall, I am going to attach this mat. Actually, we can also hang this one. I got this for around 199 rupees from Reliance Smart Bazaar. So I am attaching this here. It is giving that ethnic and traditional look to this wall. And here I lit a candle, actually this glass stand which you are seeing is a very old one. The top part was broken and I had this chimney without lantern so I used both of these items to make a one lamp kind of thing. It didn't look good in that shelf so I kept it on the side table. This time for decoration I used only lanterns which I purchased from local shop for 125 rupees each. I am applying some scent on this mat to have some nice fragrance in this room. I'm keeping one vase on the trunks adding one cushion on this chair so after all the final touches it's time to have the final look hope you all will like it So how is it guys you can clearly see the difference right now let me take you through this in detail. So that is my grandmother's kitchen which I showed you last time and this is the room next to that kitchen. 
so as in we enter on my right side we have this corner in which i have uh, attached these golden frames which we made because of the light coming through the window on the opposite side of this room this wall was reflecting and it's making the room look more brighter and here in this corner there used to be a lot of trunks we discarded only two and all others we revamped and used it in this room only i'll show you clearly and this is one trunk and above that we have this uh and moving ahead we have this fox window on this wall and as i told my plan was to have green red pink kind of multicolor window frame but i found only two colors so i had to use this but this was also looking so cool in this room and this is the cot and this bed sheet also i purchased from local shop so this was also matching with the other things and other elements in this room and on this window i have put a maroon color curtain and here is our wall on which we have made this beautiful design and moving down here we have our diy side table which we made using a trunk and an old stool and above this table i have kept this lamp not exactly a lamp i can say it's a mix of a candle holder and a lantern and it's giving that exact vintage vibe which i expected moving ahead here we have this shelf in which i have kept some books couple of lanterns and a plant i wanted to keep this shelf very minimal and aesthetic at the same time so that's why i have kept some also i have kept a clay jug which i bought for 140 rupees and couple of lanterns again and here in this tray i have all my grandfather's belongings as i've already told and in the next shelf we have painted one more old trunk and kept it here and in the below shelf also a couple of old books and an old suitcase so this is how i have decorated and organized this shelf and moving ahead here i have this beautiful mat on this wall which is looking so traditional and down there we have a chair uh, which is always used to be there if someone comes they, so that they can be seated here so in this room each corner has its own importance on this video i really want to hear from everyone what are your thoughts and what do you like most in this video today because that's the main thing and only thing that keeps me motivated to make more beautiful videos for all of you so this is the overall look of this room guys how do you like this extreme transformation of this room let me know in the comment section and i hope you all liked it and loved it if you have really liked it i request you to press the like button and also please please subscribe to my channel as i'll be coming up with such realistic interesting home decor home makeover ideas in a very low budget every week so that's all for today friends let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care